morning you guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlogs and if you guys are new here my name is jenna i'm so happy that you are here so today is tuesday i have a work from home day i've been signed on since 7 15 this morning it's now 9 30 um it was almost 9 30 i have a meeting at 9 30 if it was 9 30 i would get my butt kicked um but i woke up did my hair made a coffee which i messed up on because i accidentally made a pod that was a lot bigger and I wanted to make a latte so that wasn't gonna work out and then so I made another one and then I felt bad for wasting the first one so I ended up dumping them both in this cup so we have like two coffees in here not sure how much caffeine so I guess we'll find out later in the video based on my behavior <laughs> um, but it's really really good I just put like caramel syrup oh my god I'm bleeding that's so rude um, but yeah I did that first and then I decided to put more ice cubes in when it was up to here and it bounced and got all over my sleeve. So in true Jenna fashion, we are spilling food slash drinks all over ourselves because, I mean, I don't know when I'm gonna grow out of that, but I need to, like ASAP. I'm like running out of my stain, stain treatment little bottles. I also spilled butter on my Nina Bang sweatshirt yesterday. So you guys won't see that sweatshirt in this video and probably not the next one, thank God, because that's all you guys have been seeing me wear lately. But I showed you guys a preview for the charcoal clothes that I got in and I'm so excited to wear all of those. So I think you'll probably be seeing me wear like a couple of those outfits and I'll show you guys them in this video because I am going to be filming that video during my lunch break today. So I just wanted to start this off, let you guys know the plan. So I'm going to shoot with Steph and her friend Steph at, so Steph and Steph at 12. So I'm going to do one outfit with them, probably one of the looks that I have from the charcoal haul and then I'm gonna come back here, keep working and then I'll be done at four. So maybe I'll go and like reshoot some stuff that I have to do and do a couple of videos because I don't know, I feel like I like doing like outfit of the day videos as opposed to like posting photos. But I mean, I like both. Obviously it's like kind of good to have a combination. Um, I also put up a video this morning. That's actually the first thing I did when I woke up. I like scheduled it for 8 a.m. and I'm like, I don't really know who's gonna be watching YouTube at 8 a.m. but I'm just gonna put it up anyway for those of you that do watch it earlier in the morning or like maybe you make your morning coffee while you're gonna be working from home and you like watch it in the morning. I've also been like jade rolling my face this morning. I have my um, CEO serum on from Sunday Riley and that stuff has like quickly become my favorite product. I actually dropped the bottle and the nozzle like still works well but it's just not like how it's supposed to be so i put that on first and then i'm just gonna roll out for a couple more minutes before my meeting also I'm not gonna lie i'm looking a little bit tanner than i normally am especially since i'm in front of like the natural light here and i'm really happy about that because i was like ghostly pale and you guys were like probably sick of hearing me complain about being pale but i obviously this is my first summer in the city so i'm just not used to having like you know opportunities to go and sit out in the sun. So just shooting and getting a bunch of stuff done today. I need to go get a band-aid because my thumb is like bleeding from something. I just unloaded the dishwasher. So I was probably like banging things around there, but I'm gonna hop into my meeting quickly and then I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Okay guys, it is just about to be my lunch break. So I'm doing my five minute makeup and then I'm gonna steam all of the charcoal pieces quickly so that I can film that haul and then i might go outside and try to take some outfit videos because um stuff's schedule changed so i'm not sure when they're going to um shoot and i really only have this like hour to do so and so i might just you know prop my phone up on a ledge and do some little like outfit checks that way so i just started with the charlotte tilbury this is the light wonder foundation i also really like the beautiful skin i'll link both of them because Charlotte is just amazing. Oh, that's the FedEx guy. Okay, Carson just got a package. That guy was so nice. Um, so then, what else do I have to do? All of my makeup is basically still packed. So I just have my little olive green makeup bag here. The zipper already broke on this, which I'm so annoyed about because I got it when I was in Italy for work. So I can't really replace it. And you guys, I'm reviving my beauty blender. I don't know where this came from, but I haven't used this thing in so long. 
and I think it was mostly because I was doing my makeup the other day and blending out my concealer and I was like this takes so long and I feel like I'm not blending enough toward the edges so it looks like concealer and then my blush and it's like a really harsh line so I just wanted to use this to be able to make everything blend a little bit better and it's just a lot quicker which obviously I love especially when I have to get really ready really quickly and I only have an hour to do like content stuff during like a work from home day um so next thing we're gonna do is just a little bit of powder I went home and brought my powder brush home and didn't bring home my powder. So I was just using the excess on this brush here. This is just the Laura Mercier powder. So I have a hash brown in the toaster right now as like a little appetizer. <laughs> and that happened because I was cutting up my bananas to freeze them and realized that I only had one hash brown left. And I was like, I might as well just um, use it and finish the container or eat it and finish the container. Doing a little bit of Rare Beauty blush, obviously. This is in the shade Joy. Um, I kind of, want, okay, how did I apply that? Like literally so crooked. I kind of want to try and use my beauty blender with this, but I feel like since I don't have time, now is not the time. Oh, and once I know my notes. Not sure if you guys could see that. Um, but I basically just put it on the apples of my cheeks and then go upward over here and then inward onto my nose just to make a little sunburnt look and we'll do the same thing to the other side i'm using like the tiniest mirror from my laura mercier eyeliner i don't know if i'll do eyeliner today maybe a little bit in the corners just to make everything more defined so now that i'm done blending that in i'm just going to use my beauty blender and blend in the edges just so that it looks a little bit more natural which i think worked really well my blush is looking like really pigmented on the camera, but it's not that bad in real life. And then I'm gonna throw on some of my Say Beauty Sun Visor. This stuff is like perfect to put all over your face, but I've been using it as more of like a highlighter and I'll just go like on my cheekbones and then around up to my temples. Such a random like application, but I just do a little bit just to bring a little bit of awareness to the high points of my face. And I styled my hair for the first time with my smaller curling iron. So basically I have like three different curling irons and it's because I donated my hair when I was in college and I had hair up to here, it was so, so short. And I had to get new hair tools because the big fat ones that I had for my hair that was down to my butt just didn't work. And so I had three different like sizes of curling irons for the lengths that I had. So now that I have like a medium hair length, I'm using the smallest one that I have. It's like 20 bucks from Amazon. And the curls looked a little bit weird when I first did them, but now they like fell a little bit more. So it looks a lot more normal. And I'm just like figuring it out now because I did chop off a good amount of my hair. And so that means that we got to change some things a little bit. Then I just have some like leftover bronzer on this brush that I'm going to put in my crease. And now that I'm a little bit tanner, it's not going to be as, actually, I'm going to see it. And it's probably because this is in bronzer. This is definitely the shade from my, um, pillow top palette just to have like a little bit of definition in there and just so that it doesn't look so plain then I'm gonna do my mascara here I have to wet this eyeliner brush so I'll just do that after and I don't want to like take too long to do this so I'm gonna pop on some mascara and then I am gonna steam everything for charcoal probably keep one of the looks on and go outside and do a little um, like outfit check video and then I have a gold hinge one that I have to do so I'll do both of those and that will probably be all I can get done in the hour the other video I wanted to film was an Amazon's favorites and I have a list already written down here like everything is already prepared and stuff because I made like a little preparation sheet last night I know I sound like such a loser but because I only have an hour for lunch I can't be like planning and executing so we do the planning before get my mind straight and then I can do the video in as like little time as possible, depending on how I am doing today. Because sometimes these videos take like eight hours for me to film because I can't speak. But normally vlogging like warms me up and I know what I wanna say. So hopefully this helps that I'm talking to you guys before I start. And 
Yeah, so I'm just gonna do the rest of my mascara. Probably spike up my eyebrows a little bit and then throw my hair down and get filming. And sometime in between there, I will be eating a hash brown. All right, you guys, it's a little bit later. I'm actually sweating. I just changed into the charcoal tank top and it's like completely not see-through at all, which is like, I don't want to say surprising in like a bad way in terms of charcoal, but any tank top that I've had like this is normally see-through unless it's black. So that's a huge win because I don't have to wear nipple covers with it. And then the jeans fit so nicely, no waist gapping, which is always like perfect for me. And then they go all the way down, excuse my like tie-dye socks, but they're a straight leg and they go all the way down really nice and baggy in the back and like so relaxed, which I love. I have a meeting in like three minutes and then I'm gonna be signed on to work for another hour after that and then at four I'm done. So that's what I'm gonna do cutaways for everything. I have that all like laid on the bed. These aren't like the full outfits, it's just the items, but I am just like kind of preparing myself for that. The tripod is up on my chair right now. I just filmed two videos during my lunch, so that was a little bit chaotic, but I got it all done, which is like kind of a relief. And yeah, what else? Oh, we also went to the soap shop in Chelsea, I think, and we always walk past it when we go to West Village and it always smells amazing, but we've never gone in. And today we decided to go on our way back because I still had like 15 minutes before I had to be signed on again. And we did like a whole treatment. It was such a good experience. I know it's just soap, but that stuff is like, Kind of exciting sometimes and i have to show you guys the thing that i got okay so we did a whole like hand body wash shower gel scrub lotion experience and then they also have candles that melt into a body oil so you can use it for like your cuticles your hands like anywhere on your body and it's like i don't remember what she called it but it's called like medium temperature oil or something so the way that you think that like hot wax would be it's not like that it's like a very comfortable temperature and so you can use it on your body but we needed a kitchen soap and we just ran out like today so i went in there like thinking i wanted to get a soap for the kitchen and we got the lavender scent everything in there is like very parisian looking it's amazing obviously you guys know me and you know that i love you know european anything but especially french the only thing is i cannot get this open i've been like twisting it for 20 minutes and i'm doing it in the direction that the arrow is so i might end up having to go back once my work day is over and swap it out, of course that would happen to me, but it smells so, so good. They have like so many different scents that were like their classic line. And then they had this thing where you can um, customize your own, which I thought was such a good idea. And they'll do it and it takes like a minute, which is insane. Um, I think the store is called Soapology, if you guys, if anyone's looking for some soaps. Um, and the lady in there was like super knowledgeable and nice. So. Um, they're also produced in New York City and everything's like organic and stuff. And there's only one location, which I thought was nice because you can't really find small businesses in New York anymore. I feel like everything is always like commercial and a chain. Um, but I have to hop into my meeting quickly and I will be trying to open the soap bottle for the entire hour. It has been a couple hours since I have spoken to you guys and I'm looking a little bit run down right now and it's kind of because I am. So... I went and reshot something for a brand and then I came back and all of a sudden, well, it's not all of a sudden, I've had like some lower back issues. I don't know why I'm like panting right now. I think cause I'm like trying not to breathe in too deep, but I've had some lower back issues over the past like six months and randomly I'll have like these weird like twinges of pain. But when I went into my meeting that I had at 4 p.m., I started to feel like I was having a back spasm, but normally I've never had one in my lower back. They're usually like on either side of my spine. And so like, it was a little bit of pain when I had the meeting. And then a little bit later, I went to go make dinner and felt like I couldn't really like bend over at all. And now I like completely can't even, like I just tried to get out of bed because I have to pee. <laughs> and um, it also hurts to laugh. And so I just realized that I like, really having a hard time getting up too and like laying down is kind of uncomfortable so I'm like the only space where I'm comfortable is if I'm standing and if my like this is weird but like my pelvic bone is like at a certain angle that's like the only time that I'm comfortable right now um I don't really know what to do because 
I don't have a chiropractor in the city. So at home I had a chiropractor that would do acupuncture also. And then he moved to California. And I haven't gone since then and I think that's why I've just like put this off for the past like six to eight months. It's really been since I started my new position last June that I've been like sitting down a lot more and noticed that my back was hurting. It's also because I have been commuting since last October and I'm just like sitting down on the bus for hours like every single day and now it's gotten really bad. I don't know what the problem is. It's definitely a pain that I haven't like experienced before. I mean, I have, but it's been a span of like 10 minutes where I'm like, oh, that really hurts and I go to bed and it's fine the next morning. But this has been going on for, um, it's almost nine o'clock now, so like five hours and I don't really know what to do. I don't know if I should heat it or ice it or whatever, but I'm just like sitting in bed trying to like drink water as if like that's really gonna help me. But I don't know if anybody else's parents were like this, but anytime I was like sick or not feeling well when I was younger, my mom would be like, Oh, you're probably just tired or you're probably just dehydrated so of course i'm like conditioned to drink water because i'm not feeling well but this is my outfit right now i'm going to be wearing this gray dog sweatshirt no pants normally i lie to you guys and tell you that i'm wearing pants but i'm definitely not right now <laughs> and i'm wearing high socks that i was wearing with my outfit and my smiley face slippers that i don't think i've ever linked for you guys but they're actually really cute so I'll link these for you. Carson's mom got them for us. She's so sweet. Um, and my socks are from H&M. They actually stocked them online, so I can link those for you guys too. Still going strong with the hoops. I don't really know why. Um, but unfortunately, it is the end of Tuesday. And so this is going to be the end of the vlog, especially since I'm like not really feeling up to anything else. I'm just going to go and lay in bed. Um, I hope that I don't call in to work tomorrow and say that I can't go just because I was home for two days last week and I worked from home today and I just have a lot of like physical stuff to do at work a lot and I obviously am not in the condition to do any physical work so it's not like I'd even be a big help but I don't know I am just like so innocent and afraid to break the rules that I feel like my boss is gonna think that I'm lying or something but I'm like not lying at all. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna just get into bed. I started watching a couple of vlogs and I think I might edit my own vlogs as if I'm like bedridden. I might as well edit all of the videos that I recorded today during my lunch break and get those done and over with so that I can upload them as soon as I can for you guys. And one of them shouldn't be too hard because it's just like an Amazon favorites. A little spoiler for you guys, even though actually I think this is, I don't know. You guys know I never know what order I'm putting up my videos, but I'm gonna stop whining to you guys now. Thank you so much for joining me for another vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know we didn't get out to like the streets of New York City today, but I promise you I will be doing that in the next couple vlogs to come. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you do. We have so much fun over here and I would love for you guys to join the fam. And I hope to see you all in my next video. And hopefully I won't be writhing in pain. <laughs>